How you guys doing? This is very important in reverence to America and the American Dentist Association and the modeling industry and television and TV and radio. You know, this is very important in reverence to magazines of newspapers and things like that. And which person owns the most? Now, this is very important, like, uh, which person owns the most dentist offices or which family of people in America own the most dentist offices? Was it my grandfather's? Was it my mother and father? Is it me? Because I own the estates of my parents. So, which person has the highest status in the American Dentist Association or the American Dentist Industry? I don't believe in people messing up people's teeth or anybody playing tricks. So, you know, you know when people go to the dentist when they go to the dentist. But I'm wondering who this man is damaging my face and teeth. The U.S. government has to be charged for harboring mutilators in American government satellite control rooms and in their government agencies. See, my status is birth status, and the courts, they know my status is forever. Now, you know, these people that have damaged my face and teeth for whatever reason they thought they were trying to gain, those people have to be prosecuted. I'm not your pawn. I'm not your puppet. I'm not your toy. My teeth are my teeth. So it's very important in reverence to uh, which people have been damaging my teeth and face. And what race and religion they are. Now we need the numbers of which person owns the uh, most dentist offices in America. And who this man was that's damaged my teeth. My dentist has been in the dentist industry for a long time. You guys know that, right? And my dentist used to work for my mother and father. And my mother and father's dentist offices or something, you know. And the studios. So we need to know what race, what religion, and the identity of the people that have damaged my teeth and face. Now somebody communicated that, you know, some of these people was the ones that was involved in stealing from my penis. They they already communicated like uh, like there's a thousand people that are going to prison for trying to murder me. There's already a thousand people they have on a list or something. And I guess those people need to get arrested, don't they? And those people need to go to jail for trying to steal my mother and father's estates. Right? Because that's what the procedure of law is. And reverence to people trying to defraud me and my mother and father's estates. Lots of things of importance. Very important in history. And uh, California Labor Board, how you doing? No, I haven't received any letters or monies from your office, even though I got kidnapped from California. And these people have tried to win. They've tried to play this game of stealing my money when I've tried to to work and make money. And tried to save money. These people stole my money. They've been doing it for over 22 years. Matter of fact, they did it even longer than that. They even stole my money when I was in California. Out of my checking account. Some of these people in Indiana that have been stealing my money are the same people that had been stealing my money in California. Now, somebody would say that some of these people, like when my mother had sent me money when I was being held hostage here back in the 80s. You know, the, the time, it was a short time when I was being held hostage. But I'd been rescued and kidnapped and rescued and held hostage several times. So obviously there was somebody in California that had ties with these individuals in Indiana that had been illegally keeping tabs on me and my mother in Beverly Hills. Or they were following us around as they were, they were trying to think of a time where they would kidnap me is what they were doing. Like they were premeditating their kidnapping when they kidnapped me from my mother. And then they would hold me hostage in Indiana. And then they'd demand ransom money. And then I guess they would funnel the monies to the person that was out in California. Like for instance, they kidnapped me from California. Held me hostage. They demanded ransom from my mother. And my mother had sent the monies. They wouldn't release me. Then my mother had to, they had to rescue me from these people. And then they all ran somewhere. They all... You know, whatever happened in those times, when every time I got rescued from these people. But they were funneling the monies, I guess. When they kidnapped me from California, they'd hold me hostage in Indiana. And my mother would send the ransom money 
and then the people would steal the ransom. They would they would steal the ransom money, or they got the ransom money, but then they funneled the money back out to California to some man in California or something. Does anybody know who that man is? That man obviously had a problem with monies or something. And that man obviously has a lot of people in Indiana, too. Does anybody know who that man is? Very important information. Now, another question. Which person has the most right in Hollywood? Which person owns Beverly Hills? Which person owns Rodeo Drive? Which person owns the most land in California? We need that published in the newspapers, too. Still being held hostage in Indianapolis, Indiana. The satellite man's been hitting me in the face on this side and hitting me in the mouth and teeth. And the satellite man's been trying to call me a racist all the time. They, the satellite man tries to communicate calling me a racist. Doesn't make no sense to me. I haven't even had a chance to hang out with anybody. Haven't had a chance to hang out with whites or blacks or Latins or Asians. Haven't had a chance to hang out with anybody. But, the, but you know, all the other ethnicities, they're not calling me a racist. Even my friends that are black, they don't even call me a racist. But this man and his people thought they'd just make the shit up. And then this man was burning me with satellites like he thought, like he thought he would make up his lies like he thought Italians or French or English or, or Mexicans or Canadians or Brazilians or other races that liked me or people that know me or Asians, you know, the, uh, the satellite man or this black government man claimed he thought he'd just call me a racist and he thought he'd get away with stealing my mother and father's estates. The man has to get prosecuted and the man goes to prison and all his conspirators go to prison too. And hello, friends that know me. Lots of things of importance. I haven't received any monies or letters. I haven't even received a letter from anybody if they've sent anything to the house here. I haven't even received anything from Duke Farms. Did the newspaper go over to Duke Farms and ask if they know who I am? What about the Biltmore or Hearst Castle? Did anybody go to any of those places to ask if they know who I am? Or the John Paul Getty Museum or anything? Or the Screen Actors Union? Lots of things of importance. And received nothing in the postal mail yet. 